I put a little lube on the plunger, that way it's not dry. Put her in the spring. And you'll have to wiggle a little bit and get it in there. Then you got the plunger hat, I guess you'd call it. Make sure it's clean. Put a, I put a little lube on it all the way around. Slider on top. I always leave the excess lube on there. It helps the valve or the uh, spool valve body slide on. And now that we have that in place, we're going to put a new O-ring on our spool valve body. Just walk that on. Okay. And we're going to lube that up. Remember the shim washer, whatever you want to call it. He's going to line it up with the... Oh, almost lost it. Remember, it doesn't matter which way it goes that I found. I think it's drilled, see, with four holes. And my two screw holes are right here. I'm going to line those up. I'm going to find my hold down clamp notch because I want the spool valve lined up correctly. We're going to find the flat side on this, not the wedge side, but the flatter side. We're going to bring that over here and we're going to line up the two screw holes with the two screw holes on this. So then the flat side, as you can see, lines up with the injector hold down clamp notch and here and our spool valve or our coil goes here. So imagine it going in the truck and your clamp's always sitting here. So your clamp always um, kind of points toward the exhaust. So then you want your flat side to be facing towards the back of the engine. And you want your coil side to be facing actually straight down to the exhaust. Not straight on with the injector hold down. So you want it oriented just like that. So I'll show you more whenever we get we get it together. So I hold that in place, put my screws in, and until you get used to it, it feels real awkward. So I'm going to push down, grab my little my Torx, I'm just going to start it. Okay. We got our hold down clamp notch here, and that would be sitting the engine like this. So facing you, down here is the exhaust. We got our notch here for our hold down. We got our flat side of the spool valve body. And we have our, our coil, our bottom coil. And then our uh, injector connector would go up this way. So since it's lined up correctly, what I do is I walk it down. Just be about a quarter to a full turn or so. You don't want to fight it. You just want to walk it down real smooth. Just keep walking it down. Try to keep it as even as possible. Okay. I don't know the torque on this. I've always been able to break it loose with my hand, so I always use my hands to do that also. And I just tighten it down by hand. And I go back a couple times, make sure it's snug. We're good there. Okay, so we've got the 
body all built. We got the spool valve body on. Now I think it's a good time because I don't have the spool valve trying to move out or anything. I like to put the O-ring up top in. So we're going to open up our kit. And it's actually an Alliant power. Um, works pretty good. I don't see any issues. Dump it out. I use everything. Except this clip. This clip goes up top here and holds in a, uh, a keeper that holds that o-ring in place. I've never been able to get that out. I'm sure somebody else has. Um, I always walk the o-ring in and I've torn an o-ring doing that but I've gotten to where it works pretty good for me. It, it's just I don't know how or what you would use to get that out. Um, it's a snap ring of some kind. If you look up in there you can see the opening right in this area right here but I don't know how to get it out so what I'll do I'll grab it and this is going to be tough to video you got a little bit of body there I was talking about that clip I'm going to bring it up all the way to the top. What I do is I squeeze it together. And I put it down in there. And that body sometimes will go down in. But you can see there how I have it. And I'll walk that body back up sometimes. I'm going to take a pocket screwdriver. push down on the top and that's damn oh it's fighting me It's not going to stay up. Okay. Boy, I wish I knew how to get that snapper right now. It'd make this a lot easier. Okay, so I'll just I'm gonna try to walk that over ring down in there. As you can see. So I kind of get it like that. If you can see in there. I'll keep walking it down into place. And I don't jab at it. I kind of just try to massage it into place. And then it's stuck in there like that. Let's see. And then I'll start trying to walk it up. And pushing it in place. I never get aggressive with it because it will tear. I guess you could use a little lube, but I wouldn't. Lube right now would kind of probably fight you because it wouldn't hold in place. Okay, we'll just keep walking. Okay, we got it most of the way up. You can see a little stuck out a couple edges. I'll just use the pocket screwdriver and kind of work it around. Kind of poke at the area sticking out, and it's in. If you're just patient with it, you'll get it in in one piece. And now we got that O-ring in. We're gonna put the spool valve in, so we know that our injector hold down is here. We're gonna go up. We're gonna turn the body, and here is. 
our flat side. So, we knew this pool valve was in good shape earlier in the housing. We don't need to sand it. If I do sand it, I'll take the 2000 grit sandpaper, I'll hold it just like I did that plunge earlier, and I'll do one side, and I'll simulate it, and I'll work it like that, flip over to the other side, do it, and I'll keep working that like that, then I'll clean it off with some brake clean. Make sure it's good and clean, make sure. And then what I do is I lube it and test it. We're gonna lube that up. So, flat side here, as you can see, there. We're gonna go in, we're gonna go with the small side. So the small side of that spool valve. We're gonna go in on this side, right here and you just kind of walk it in. Keep walking it in, and we're in. And it's in. So the fat side, if it sits in the engine like this, the exhaust is down here, the intake is up top, over here, and your injector, uh, electrical connector, goes up this way. The big side of your spool valve is going to be facing the exhaust. And the flat side of the spool valve body is facing the rear of the engine. So we got the spool valve in. We're good there. Now, what I like to do at that point, put our other O rings on. Black one goes up top. Just like that. White ones after that. Like that. Okay, and then we got our copper washer. I always get it at that point. Take an eight millimeter quarter inch drive deep well socket, push down on it. Just like that. And then We'll pay attention to the orientation. You want to go to the injector hold down clamp notch and you put the your electrical coils on just like that. So that's how it'd sit in the engine. You got that on. So now we're going to put our little screw through. This I found if you over torque this, if you over tighten this, it squeezes it too tight and the truck will start and run great cold. As soon as it warms up, you know, it gets to operating temperature uh, after you've come back from driving it, you'll get random misfires. I mean, it just be, I've watched it on my, the power balance on the IDS and it's just, you know, one may miss and then you're sitting there idling all of a sudden eight then six and it doesn't make any sense. Uh, I did a lot of lot of research and I found a post on a forum somewhere that the guy said, you know, told somebody they were having the same issue, they rebuilt injectors and it was dead on. I mean that as soon as I got the torque right, it was dead on. Okay. We got the bolt in there. There's still a little bit of oil on there. Let's dry it off. Put your nut on there. Okay. And we're gonna get rid of your torque. And that is a that's a T10 Torx. Make sure that's tight. And the nut was a 532nd. So all you're gonna do is start tightening it down, threading that nut on. 
And what you want to do is whenever it starts to bottom out, barely bottoms out, I take it and I wiggle my spool, my coils. I want to see if they wiggle. And this one just has the littlest wiggle to it. So does this one. see. I don't think you can see it, but it just wiggles just a little bit. I want to get rid of that wiggle. I don't want that to be loose, so I'll just, just go a little bit tighter. Still wiggles. Okay, that's tight. I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't mess with it anymore. That's perfect where it's at. I'm going to clean off the end of the bolt. With some brake clean. Take some Loctite. And I just dab just on the end, right like that. Just on the end of the bolt. Okay, and then we're gonna put the O ring on the connector. I'm going to put the little orange o-ring down in the connector. I'll just put some more lube on the o-rings. It's okay if you get some lube in the fuel area. It'll just eat it away. It'll get rid of the lube and then what I do is I put some lube down in here that way it's lube and what you have is you have a rebuilt injector that's it it's ready to go in the engine